whereas his bravery, charity, and valor, both in war and in peace, have been a flame of inspiration in freedom's darkest hour, and whereas his life has shown that no adversary can overcome and no fear can deter free men in the defense of their freedom, and whereas he's expressed himself with unsurpassed power and splendor, the aspirations of people everywhere, dignity and freedom, and whereas he has by his art as an historian and his judgment as a statesman made the past a servant of the future. Now therefore I, John F. Kennedy, President of the United States of America, under the authority contained in an act of the 88th Congress, who hereby declare Sir Winston Churchill an honorary citizen of the United States of America. I would ask uh, Mr. Randolph Churchill, uh, Sir Winston's son, who's accompanied by Sir Winston's grandson, Winston Churchill, to uh, read the letter. It is a remarkable comment on our affairs that the former prime minister of a great sovereign state should thus be received as an honorary citizen of another. I say great sovereign state with design and emphasis, for I reject the view that Britain and the Commonwealth would now be relegated to a tame and minor role in the world. Our past is the key to our future, which I firmly trust and believe will be no less fertile and glorious. President, your action illuminates the theme of unity of the English-speaking peoples, which I have devoted a large part of my life. I would ask you to accept yourself and to convey both houses of Congress through them to the American people. My solemn and heartfelt thanks for this unique distinction will always be proudly remembered by my descendants, Winston S. Churchill. 